I want to take you along for you to see what I see because some of these things look so funny but they actually make sense this page is called marriage without tears and some of these posts relate to my channel so I like hanging out here like picking one or two things that make sense to me so taking you along I wish as we make fun out of it maybe you may grab one or two things like the question here says apart from cheating what else breaks a relationship? Hmm. Remember, relationship, question and answer is the name of my channel. So, let's come around and see some funny answer to this. This one says poverty nagging. This one says non-communication. Non That's arrogance, poverty, communication, sex. Uh, uh, this one say excuse, huh? S sex, S sex, sex or poor sex performance. So this one is saying when it is too much, it's a problem. When it is poor, it's a problem. Be coming with me, oh. come and see what I'm seeing, because here you can see the level of our understanding. Why we say. People are different. We are different from each other. The worst thing in life is to judge people according to your own instincts, your own understanding. So, and this helps me to know that we actually have different approach to everything. And you can't take it away. You see, so now one is saying too much sex is a problem. Now this one say less, less communication, I believe is a woman. Okay. Uh, comparison here makes sense to me when you compare your partner with somebody else you compare your partner with whoever you met you might have known before it kills marriage it kills a relationship he is he she is she be in your own field recognize where she or he is meet her or him there and then you guys will take off the journey to wherever you guys have decided to go. Marriage and life mm, relationship is a journey. You go from one stage to the other. You see. So now, secrets and lies, misunderstanding and not being open. Very, very, very bad. This one says disrespect. You know, when we are talking of respect, we must understand there is, must be a mutual respect. In everything so singy <laughs> you know why I'm feeling somehow here this is hitting me because hmm, I remember my wife calling me stingy man one time and it's not that I'm I'm not ashamed of it because later my wife also discovered that uh, my own stingy is different <laughs> because she saw what I do with the money I buy a car, I buy a house, I do some of these things, I have a great plan for the family and she's seen it. So if you're a man out there and your wife is complaining of being stingy and you are doing something, show it to her, don't do it secretly. Be transparent to whatsoever you think you are doing with the resources, the family resources. Be open and say this is why I'm doing this. This is these are the reasons. Because hmm, it will be difficult to, to, you know, to preserve tomorrow when you didn't save. So if you are stingy, where are you keeping the money? And what are you doing with the money or the resources? If you couldn't give account of it, then it's deadly. Uh, this one say communication, ego, ignorance, distance. Um, I also don't believe there is good relationship in distance. People who still write this actually may have had one or two experience. Distance relationship is like an open relationship. It's like uh, mm, there is no serious about it, except they are working hard to put things together. But if you say, okay, this one will be there, this one will be here, I don't believe in that. 
pride, secret and lie, lack of good sex, <laughs> Jehovah. So communication, nothing, nothing, only cheating. Come, this guy doesn't have problem. He says nothing, only cheating. Nothing can make him uh, break his relationship, only cheating. I like people like this. He is specific and he is so so what he need is very simple. So even if they hit your hit ma <laughs> matchet on your head, <laughs> nothing. Anyway, I am happy to see that because um some people will count heaven and earth. That means you are not even ready, you know. She so said nothing only hmm. again I see here stinginess. Okay, he now she wrote on that this one kills more than cheating. <laughs> Stinginess. Oh God, you know why I'm laughing is that I was once in this uh, section. Yeah, actually that was when in my earlier beginning time, you know, when I needed every cent to start my journey. I needed every every cent, every dime. Because you can't preserve tomorrow with empty hand, you know. So let's continue. Lack of understanding, unforgiveness, and lies. You know, no trust. This is important. Okay, hmm. I'm shocked. This one say too much of sex. Can you guys see it here? And there is even a woman that wrote this, lives in a very emo state. <sighs> For my fellow men, you see it now, it's not at all about sex. Some people are wired differently. And if you, you know, come up with your prejudices, um, the way you think or the way you feel, you will be absolutely wrong. Because here now, some are saying, what else can K marry? This one said, too much of sex. Even if he's joking, that is a point. But it's not. it doesn't look like. Because someone else came on that to write, hmm, that's a lie. So in other words, for this guy, sex cannot be too much or it can never be a problem. And this one says it's a personal. Yeah, of course. Everything here is personal. And... This one say really. <laughs> so my fellow brothers and sisters, is happening here now. This one say hmm, when not respected and not listening to one another, there is no relationship when this thing is not there. If you are not respecting each other, there must be a mutual respect. Respect is not just it's a reciprocal. It's a reciprocal. You respect me, I respect you. It's a mutual thing. And there must be respect for us before you talk of listening to each other. And it is after listening, then comes something like understanding. You must respect whom you don't value. You can't spend any second listening to him or her. So it is from respect you get listening to each other before you proceed to understanding each other. And then, like I am a Christian, the Bible say two cannot walk except they agree. I think Amos 3, 3 say two cannot walk except they agree. So this is the certificate for relationship to start with. Uh, sexual immorality, yeah, the cold war. I don't understand this one because what I think this one meant is cold war because sometimes there will be war inside the house, unverbal war, war that nobody explains, nobody understands what is going on until it escalates. It happens, yeah. I agree with you, brother. It's even maybe a lady. So lack of communication here, yeah, trust, lies, violence, and whichever one, willingness to break up, that wasn't a relationship. Uh, lies, selfish, 
I think he's saying unfruitfulness, like uh, no childlessness, may be what this person is writing about. Unfruitfulness. <laughs> this is an issue because this is a honest person. Unfruitfulness can bring the divorce apart from flexing. Um, people are going through this. I pause to say, may God answer their prayer. May God see them through whoever, wherever they may be, who are in relationship, maybe especially those who are married already, and there is issue of fruitfulness or childlessness in their relationship. I pray that God Almighty shall hear their prayer and see them through. In Jesus' name, Amen. I may not, I don't want this video to be long, not being responsible. Oh, not being responsible. You see, this is very important. If you're a man who stand out there, who represent the family when you go out, you must be responsible. Responsible is like a, an umbrella word. It covers a lot. You must show that accountability. If you're not, because sometimes we would say responsible. People always think it's about money. It's not money. You mustn't be rich in order to be responsible. It's only when you are responsible then you can think of being rich. Yeah. So let me rush to other ones and see if there is any other important one here. Heartlessness. Heartless. Oh God. Hey. I love here. I love this place. Heartless. Drinker. So it probably meant drunkardness. Someone who drinks a lot. Uh, faithful, faithful is oh, this one now wrote uh, note here. My marriage just broke because rumors the husband claims I bad mouthed him with friend and I left the house today morning. I'm not in peace. Somebody talk to me, please. Hmm. In case if you're hearing this just four hours ago. I'm reading this new I'm read, I'm doing this combing today 28th of February 2021 and this person her name is Lenis Chemutai I don't know where this is but I, I felt like saying something in case if this person come across this post any day any time you can't walk away just because of rumor, just because of maybe sister-in-law or brother-in-law, whatsoever that have happened. I can't really understand this writing, but I know she says she walk away this morning. Say, please, somebody should talk to me. Um, I would say, get yourself back together and seek the perspective of your husband or of the man whom you are loving or who loves you if there may be um, a room for conversation and if there is verify whom she or he is if you know him that he is not in support of whatever rumor is you know let things come down you will get your partner as soon as possible May God give you the strength to, to know the right thing to do. Since you did not mention that the man beat you, you did not mention that he flecked, you did not mention that he said you should pack, it is rumor. Things, things like this is not enough reason to leave your marriage or your relationship. That is my own opinion. Yeah. Hmm. So... We can't finish this uh, empty promise. <laughs> and men can do this one very well. Men can do this one. Empty promise. You see, this is one thing that I hate doing. I I heard where it caused a problem. Almost a village war. Empty promise. The man met the woman. Earlier time, he promised heaven and earth. Then, later... The woman was waiting 
waiting. Don't tell her dear promise a woman what you know you wouldn't do. She he, she was waiting. She patiently wait for one year, two years. The second year or the third year, there was a quarrel, you know. And it happened that even the relation of that woman was somehow expecting those manifest their promises to come to pass. They were like, okay, this man will promise heaven and earth. We are still waiting, you know. So the divorce almost caused village war, you know, village fighting another village. So empty promise is is destructive. How can you trust? Okay, okay. Uh, this one says, how can trust destroy a relationship? Are you sleeping in the question? Hmm. Trust can destroy a relationship. Uh, trust is like a general question that we one cannot really know. Mm -hmm. Trust can destroy actually. Gossiping, I hope it is clear. Gossiping, false character or bad behavior like nagging, lying, false accusation, gossip, <laughs> yeah, accusation. Yeah, this can be torturing. Someone to accuse you of what you did not do. I know it is also as hell like flexing, you know. So let me stop for the day. I wish I don't want you to don't want you to say that my video is too long. This is a new channel. Share, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.